Alright, here we go with the heavyweights, high profile heavyweights at that scene. Down and Stipe Miocic, who is the consensus greatest heavyweight of all time. And Stipe kind of in this pattern, fighting once a year, but he is slim, he is lean, and looks pretty mean tonight. Stipe Miocic looks great tonight. Physically, he looks fantastic. Mentally, he looks fantastic. And he has to be all the things if he wants to get back to Cyril Gahn, a guy that possesses skills like no other heavyweight we have seen in UFC history. Well, a few heavyweights move as well as Oh, he's a Leg kick. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. They're so efficiently matched. They're so efficient. Slips. Mirashich gets caught by that straight. That'll get his attention. Oh, bad spot for that cut right on the lip. Broke him open. heavyweight champion Marcus Marinelli really feels like he has taken his striking to the next one. three minutes to go just a slip there to a significant extent, but was able to recover it. It's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that fish. is over and you see some obvious bleeding now looks like the cut is on the nose yes it is cut man will try to get in there and shut it but of course as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round that thing could reopen certainly bears watching here moving forward all right there's the end of the round we'll show you some of the highlights it must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that it feels good to knock a man down and most times you don't even feel it it's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed hard are the ones that usually put your opponent out he had landed right on the sweet spot, and he hurt his opponent very badly. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Ooh, big shot lands. Right now you see some visible damage on the screen. Oh my god! Oh my goodness. Oh! Swing and a miss with that punch by. Great job by Ciro Khan to use his feet to get it. Oh, no. Well, hard to win fights.
Gets in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Khan. Making all these shots count. Oh, these are some serious power punches from the top by Kittle Gone. And he's back up. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive... Oh! He's got to start throwing now. Oh, big takedown by the authority, so he catches the leg and immediately reacts and plows his opponent down to the canvas. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He has just outclassed this guy on the feet. You have got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out. Or the night's going to end very soon. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the best ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. And he's back to his feet. Good side for him there. And he continues to work the body here. Well, you can sense the corner frustration he has. Oh! 